Hi everybody, Sean here. Hey, I wanted to just take a few minutes and share with you this online Biblical Hebrew course that we're now making available via YouTube, via the World Wide Web. You know, we've been doing these classes, just local classes, for about five years, and we've had great results, people learning Hebrew in much faster times than they would through any of the other you know, usual methods that are out there. And that's kind of my journey about 15 years ago. You know, as I was reading, I've always been a lover of the Word of God, and I've always loved to study and to go deep into what the Bible says. And I found myself realizing, you know, I don't want just what somebody else has translated into English. You know, you sometimes you'll hear about a word or what that really means in Hebrew, and you'll find that the depth is much greater than what we're just getting in English. And then on the other side of that, you're also finding that some Hebrew words just aren't being translated into a real valid counterpart. And that affects how we walk, how we think, how we understand the Bible. And I just came to a place where, you know, my love is for the Word of God. I, I just want to devour it. I didn't so much want to take a course or a college class and go through a year or two of Hebrew. And that wasn't my goal. My goal was just to be in the Word more. But I, because of that, I did start doing some courses. I took some college course books, a uh, computer program on another course. I did a Hebrew primer, and I was just doing all, trying all kinds of different methods, and I really found myself failing. I found myself having trouble following along. Some of the course material was so technical that I felt like I would have had to be an English major just to understand what they're saying in English and explaining the Hebrew. It was so confusing. And not only that, but it was disconnected from what I really loved. You know, there's a saying that says, interest is the key to learning. And so in order for us to really be passionate and to stay with something, it has to be connected to something you love, and it has to be done in a way that you love. And so there came a point where I finally, I just set aside all of the course materials, everything. I spent a bunch of money on this stuff, and I just realized, you know, this isn't doing it for me. I don't want these things. I just want to learn. I'm just going to learn this on my own. I got my Bible out, and I started looking up right there in Genesis chapter 1. I just started looking up each word. I started making my own charts because it, nothing was simplified. Everything was so difficult. You know, and I found out also that the original Hebrew, it doesn't, it didn't have vowel points. And I was sitting there spending maybe like six months trying to memorize, you know, not just the vowels, that's kind of easy, but the way the vowels change every time you do something different to the word. You know, if you drop a letter, if you add a letter, if you change it to feminine tense, if you change it to plural form, you change the verb tense, every time you do something to that word, the vowel point changes, and you're supposed to memorize all this. And I realized that, hey, they didn't even have that in the beginning. That's a total man-made addition. And I started looking at how they were teaching things. And basically, you know, I was learning an Eastern language with a Western mindset. And that's what we've done with the language. And so I just decided I don't want to do it that way. And not only that, but it has to be connected to Scripture. And so... You know, for me, it was just going to be Bible study. And I just started there, and I just started going through Genesis. I started making my charts. You know, whenever a hey letter, which is part of the Hebrew alphabet, is added to the beginning of a word, that means the. Let's keep it simple. And so I just made these really simple charts. They're pretty thorough, but they're very simple. The charts that I came up with, there might be a half dozen charts or so versus maybe you know, a hundred or at least dozens and dozens of charts that I was being given to memorize by these other courses. And I realized that most of the stuff they're having me memorize wasn't part of the original biblical Hebrew. As when I changed how I started doing it and it got simplified, I really started excelling in learning. And not only that, but I wasn't just starting to get into it and then leave it for months because I studied I read scripture every day anyway, and so I might as well be doing my scripture reading and my study and be mixing my learning of the language in with it. And so basically, I started this course because I figured that there's other people out there that want to learn the same way that I did, that want things simplified, that wants all of that 
technical stuff that is unnecessary and come at this learning like a child would. You know, when you are teaching your little child English, you don't shove a bunch of college level books at them. You need to just work with them very simply, and that's how we learn. And so it's like trying to learn to run before you can even walk. And what I found that a person, you know, this might be hard to believe, but as you go through this, and I've had people that have done this, really start to learn to read and can actually comprehend what they're reading in six months. Now, that doesn't mean you have a full vocabulary, but I'm saying that within six months, you can have a full understanding of all the basics of Hebrew, how to read, and being able to read portions of Scripture and needing to only just look up the occasional word that you haven't added to your vocabulary yet, knowing all your prefixes, all your suffixes, knowing the sentence order, and all that kind of stuff can be learned in a fraction of the time the way most people are doing it. So let me get right to this. I want to show you this book. It's a 180 page textbook that I've done and developed. And this has gotten better and better over the course of time. Because as we did each class, I started realizing, hey, we need to add this and this is going to be really helpful. And we added worksheets. And so we start out with the alphabet. And, you know, you can't learn Hebrew or even get into scripture to at least know the 22 symbols. And so that's where we start. And we just got some simple alphabet pages and they show you each letter. You do some practice writing each one out. And from there, we go on to some basic Hebrew grammar rules. We don't spend a lot of time on that stuff because actually we are learning the grammar rules. We're learning the prefix usages, the suffix usages, all the added letters. And that may not make sense to some of you, but some of you know what I'm talking about. It's actually very simple. And we learn that while we study the text of Scripture. So we go, we start right there in Genesis chapter 1, in the beginning, and we go from there and we go through the entire chapter. And by the time you go through this course, you will you have learned most of the way that Hebrew functions. You'll have most of the prefixes and suffixes under your belt. You'll understand, you know, Hebrew sentence order. You'll understand the plural forms, masculine and feminine, and you'll do it in a way that's much more enjoyable than the dry method that so many are doing. We, it comes with the, you know, a, a little section of charts, which isn't too much, and those are there for memorization. We go through all of the alphabet pages, and I'll display some of those. I'm going to display some of the pages on the screen there for you as I go through this video so you can see those. And there's this really amazing color coding that, you know, I've seen a little bit of color coding used in other textbooks and stuff like that, but I've never seen it be really thorough and really simple. And so I just came up with this really awesome color coding system where with every Hebrew word, as we go through scripture, we're reading the root word in red, we're reading, we're identifying prefix and suffix later letters. The prefix letters are in blue, the suffix are in green, infix letters are in gray. And so that you have the Hebrew word there, I'll display that on the screen for you. And you can see the Hebrew word, you see a couple of different colors going on there. And then you see the English translation out of it. Notice that the root word's in red, and the basic definition in English is in red. And then you've got a you know prefix in blue, and then over there on the other side, you've got the English equivalent to that Hebrew letter. And so you're really able to make very simple um, connection to it. So hey means the. Okay, a vav at the beginning of a word means and. Basically, we have simplified learning the Hebrew language as simple as this. Understanding and identifying root words and building a vocabulary. Understanding, number two, what the fixed letters do and what their meanings are. And then lo looking at some verb rules and verb tenses and how those change. And that's probably the most technical of learning Hebrew is learning about verbs and how those function, which is really actually simple because to make a verb different, you're just adding a Hebrew letter and that will change it from like a completed tense to a future tense or an ongoing tense. 
and then you just need to know which letter makes that tense change. And so that's really explained in the charts. And so here's a prefix chart. You can take a look at that and you can see these are letters that are added at the beginning of a Hebrew word. We've got the suffix charts. And once again, these are words that are, are letters that are added at the end of a word. Every one of those has a meaning to it. We talk about some verb forms. And then most of the book is dedicated to the, what we call the column section, which basically goes through Genesis chapter 1 and goes through each word and break down, breaks down each word and helps the student to understand what the root is, what it means, and how are those letters functioning that are added. And by the time we go through this, you'll understand completely how that all works. It gives you the phonetic pronunciation without the vowel points because the vowel points are just adding a bunch of time in trying to learn how to read and are really unnecessary. And the other thing that we got are these, um, these flashcards. These are sheets. They tear up into 10 flashcards on each sheet and you end up with about 72 different flashcards. As you can see, this is a really great way to learn. You're learning, you're in scripture every time you're reading, you're studying it. And so, you know, if we're talking about 12 hours of videos, obviously, and I just recommend going slow. So if you're in the first video and you're in the first part of this, it may be an hour video, but you may want to actually take and make that last several hours as you watch it two or three times, you're going through the book, and the end result is in a very short amount of time, you will find that you are able to actually read Genesis chapter 1 all the way through and understand every word, every prefix, every suffix, every single uh, Hebrew grammar rule that's going on in chapter 1, which really covers the basics of it. And then from there, you're ready to just start reading chapter 2. And with chapter 2, you've already got the basics under your belt. And then and, and you can just go in and start building your vocabulary. And so this is an awesome way to study the Word of God, being in the Word daily, getting into the language, and in a very short amount of time, being able to read Hebrew fluently and just continually building that vocabulary that you have. So what we're doing is if you want to take this course, basically you can go and I'll post the link up on the on the video there to hallelujahversion.com and I've got a Hebrew class form and you can register for the and we have local ones but we also have the online and you can register for that online course choose that as an option and then after you get through the form it'll direct you to a place where you can pay and do the PayPal where you can pay by credit card and you get the book 180 page fully colored color coded the flashcards, and the video links, and that's 80 bucks. And you can check it out there. It's uh, There's a Hebrew class form, and I do some local classes, and then there's also the uh, online option. So just check the online option, and then there'll be some pricing in there. It'll talk about what it is for one student. If you're part of a household, then there's a discount, a break that happens after the first person which is pretty substantial. And then we also do, you know, class group discounts too. And all that's gonna be listed there in my website. And we'll be starting to do these videos and be ready to share one video a week here in March. And so you can get started right now, order your books and order your flashcards, the course. I'll mail you the books, the flashcards, and then I will email you the links as soon as those videos are done and ready to be sent, which, I, like I said, is in March here. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. God bless you.